Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Oh, hello, Zoe. Where are you going? Nope, we're gonna stay here. Can I put the happy hoodie on you? Okay, so let's see what happens. Yep, all right. Kitty, kitty. Are you gonna be nice? Got some really long nails. Okay, we are whipping that tail like it is our job. So now we are going to be bubbled. Okay, 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 it's okay. We're gonna be friends. Yes, we are friends. All is well. Zoe, it's okay. It's okay, Zoe. I know. The owner took this cat in three months ago. So she didn't have a lot of information for me in regards to whether or not the cat's been groomed before, how she might tolerate grooming. She doesn't know the cat all that well yet. So hopefully it will go well. Her biggest complaint is that the cat is shedding like crazy and she stinks. So I'm going to give her a good de-shed first before the bath. She also has quite a bit of dandruff. And then we will attempt to bathe her. She is very angry. You can see how mad she is with that tail. It's okay, it's okay. No, no, no. You are shutting like crazy. It's okay. It's okay. Your back end is shedding a lot. It's all right. Good kitty. You look thrilled. I will be bathing her today if I can, <laughs> in a combination of fluff off and nasty critter. If you guys are looking for a Black Friday sale, we will be having a Black Friday sale on my website as well as my products being available on Amazon. So don't forget to check those out because Black Friday is coming up. It's okay, kitty kitty. Don't fall over, all right? I'm hoping we'll be able to bathe you because you are stressed already this back end oh my god the hair that's coming out of it look at that oh her tail is whipping so hard that it's actually hitting me <laughs> she mad Oh, no, don't put the bubble in there. Don't put the bubble in there. That wasn't smart. Um, her heaviness is causing the tub to fall over. Okay. Good, Zoe. Good, Zoe. Good girl. No, no, I know you're a strong cat, but we're not gonna show off our strength today, okay? We are going to be a good kitty. You're chubby. You have not been cleaning yourself properly. You're stinky. And you are shedding like crazy because of the change of season. It's okay. No, please don't scratch the heck out of me, please. I beg of you. Running for her life. I wish I could adjust the camera, but if I let go of this cat, she's gonna be on my ceiling. You have me in such a nervous state, feline, that I forgot how to speak English. Well, the owner said you liked water. You definitely don't. Okay, okay. I'm trying to go as quick as I can. 
Please don't freak out when I turn this on. It's okay. It's okay, Zoe. The reason why I'm a bit nervous when working on a cat is because if they decide to freak out and they start flailing with all four of their legs going and then they also have the bubble on their head, it just makes for an epic disaster. Most cats are really good when they come here and people are shocked by that and that's basically just because they're out of their environment so they don't know where they can run to safety or how they can get out of where they are so they're less likely to make a move versus when they're at home number one they're dealing with people they already know so they already know kind of how to get their way and number two when they're at home they know where they are so they know hey if I turn this way I can get to this place if I go this way I can get to this place and hide so they're more likely to make the decision to try and get away A little bit traumatized. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zoe. Are you okay? Are you okay? You have silent meows. Come on, let's go. Come on. No, oh, ma'am. Wow, look at all this hair. Look at all this hair. Okay, so Zoe is, I'm gonna say 90% dry. There were certain parts of her I couldn't dry just because she likes to curl up into a ball like most cats. So, in order to not cause her any more stress, 90% dry is definitely dry enough. So I'm gonna de-shed her more. I don't know if you guys saw how much hair came out of her with the dryer, but it was flying out. You are one shedding cat. What is it with the black and white cats and all their shedding hair? I get a lot of emails and comments and messages about how you can become a pet groomer. And I've actually made a video on this answering a lot of those questions. So I'm gonna link that video in the description and in the comments for you. It basically just explains my story and how I fell into pet grooming and how you can get into pet grooming because I get so many of these emails a day that it's impossible for me to respond to them all. So hopefully whoever needs to see it sees it. Okay, I'm trusting you without the bubble. Don't let me regret this, okay? Can I see your bum? Hmm? I am out of trues, so I can't even bribe you. I need to go get some more today. And the hissing has begun. Do I dare to continue this without the bubble? Is that stupid of me? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Kitty. That. I love how with the bubble on, she just gives up on life. Oh, I spoke too soon. Now she's growling. You're almost done, okay? Don't get sassy with me. I feel like you're one of those cats that just never, ever stop shedding, no matter what. It's okay. Your butt needs to be brushed. It's the part that's shedding the most. 
Stop growling at me. I would really like to do your belly, but something tells me that you're not gonna be okay with your belly, right? You don't stink anymore. So that's exciting. Would you like to go in your house? Well, that was pretty quick. The cats here are very willing to get back into their crates because they know that that means that they're going to get the heck out of here. Right, Zoe? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again in a few days and hopefully you enjoyed the very unimpressed Zoe.